Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're at Gettysburg Military National Park. Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. This is my third attempt to do the auto self-guided auto tour. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to drive around. It covers uh, a huge area around this town. They got marked roads you drive around. I drove a little bit of it in the rain. <laughs> Try to see what it was a little bit. And thank goodness we got a little break in the weather. So let's go check it out and try it, huh? It actually starts on the north end of town. We're going to cut through town a little bit. Straight across, there's one of the battlefields. It's just all these different battlefields. They got monuments all over the place. On the right, there's a Gettysburg National Cemetery. And also, that there's a memorial in there where Lincoln gave the Gettysburg Address. We'll check that out. We'll stop there at the end of the auto tour. So I'll capture as much as I can. The best I can. So sit back, enjoy the ride. They give you a pretty good map. Plus, there's an app you can download on your phone. And then you play it through your radio, and it'll describe all the different monuments and where you're at and everything. So that's kind of cool. Cannot use the app on here because of copyright issues, so we'll just have to do it ourselves with the map. <laughs> All right, right up here. Okay, here's the start of it. This is where we go in. This is their self-guided auto tour, and it's really set up extremely well. They got memorial after memorial, history, markers. This should be a fun little trip. Memorial, memorial from New York. All kinds of inscriptions, names, they give names. They'll have stone placements out in the fields where people stood. That kind of thing. You can see just how flat and open these battlefields were. Here's the map. You can see it outlined in red. That's all the tours. The, they number the stops. There's downtown Gettysburg itself. So we start off in the north end. That green marker there where it says vis visitor center. That's where we started. So, all right, let's do it. through this light here. You kind of zigzag across the highways. And each one of these memorials, it, it's... I think they keep adding to them all the time. I'm not a Civil War buff or history buff like some people. They have reenactments here. You can actually get a guided tour. You see a lot of vans out here and buses Seems kind of cool. It's got the rifles up top. The 
There's a big one. My goodness. Huge. See how they have parking places along the way? You can just park and stop. And all the little posts, they're numbered. It's they got arrows directing you which way the auto tour goes. Cool one of the horse and the soldier. And this one up here is a big memorial. They had a dedication ceremony. We'll stop and check this out. Wow, look at the flag. This is a dedication ceremony they had for the battlefields, I guess, and the Civil War memorials. Walk up the steps. I guess it's lighted at the top. Well, these memorials been out here a long time. It's chilly here. This rain just doesn't let up. Get a little break of sun once in a while. Teases you. Good old East Coast weather. Man, that thing's tall. This one, Eternal Light Peace Memorial. Okay, that's the name of it. But it's huge. Look when they gave the dedication, that was a view they had. It's probably just a sea of people out there when it, they dedicated this uh, memorial. That would have been cool to attend, huh? A lot of storyboards about all the different battles that raged through here. Goodness. Oh, here you go. Look at this. Look at all the people. There was their ceremony. Looks like they had veterans from the Civil War attended. Look at that. Wow. We're standing right here now. Pretty cool. Here's one. Huh. Shape of a tree, huh? Little viewing tower. Pretty good parking. I mean, everyone keeps moving, so I've I've never had a problem uh, stopping anywhere. Of course, with the weather. <laughs> Yesterday I came out here and tried doing this and it would just pour in rain. It would stop for a minute and just pour. So I finally gave up. But it kind of gave me an idea what to expect driving through here. But all these memorials, they just have different dedications on them. All about different states. Some are from the south, some are from the north. How'd you like to live out here? There's a bed and breakfast. So this thing cuts through a little bit of the residential area of Gettysburg. Look at these old, big old places, huh? Something out of a magazine, like a picture.
Okay, we're cutting through town just a little bit. You just follow the signs. Got to make a right with that star. That represents the auto tour. Self-guided auto tour. Looks like some more old buildings. Oh, okay. Look at them. They were standing, I guess, back in the Civil War. Huh. Like little museums. Churches or something, maybe, huh? Look at the glasswork. Look at the windows with the arch glass above them. Wow. That was a church. What's the old saying? Standing the test of time. Round uh, entryway. Just the workmanship alone in the style building. Look at this one. Woof. What craftsmanship. Everything rounded. These are beautiful in here. Got a cannon sitting out front lawn. Okay. <laughs> Pretty neat. There is a row of cannons here. A little rock wall. About a mile of them through here. pay to get one of the guided tours. I forget what they were charging. They had ones that you come out in a van, a small van like I got here. Like a passenger van. And they had the bigger buses. They were running out of the visitor center and museum. I'm sure they could really give you the full history of what happened here. I think this area here was part of the south. South front lines troops where the troops were. Eleventh Mississippi Brigade. Yep, this would have been the south. Get over here. Confederate line of battle. There you go. So I guessed right. <laughs> What's this one? North Carolina. Memorial for them. Wow. Now that's impressive. Look at the detail on that that statue. Very realistic. Wasn't that cannonball in the building downtown cool? If you get a chance, check out that video about the downtown. Been there since the Civil War. Just a huge memorial with a statue. Very nice.
on top. Check this one out. Look how the terrain's changing. This is a little more hillier here. It's not big flat fields like the other ones. Row of cannons up here. There's the view they had during the Civil War. The eye of General Warren. So he stood up here and guided his troops. Okay, we're going we're about halfway through it. Getting a little mist on the windshield. But isn't this laid out well? You can just drive right through this thing. Kinda endless. And it shows you just how big the battle was. My goodness. Can you imagine? In that museum you could those movies would tell you a, a ton of the history. Amount of troops, all the amount of ammunition they used. There's no relic hunting or anything here. That's totally off limits. I'm sure they're here. Kind of little wooded area here. And back in the trees, you can see little tiny uh, memorials back in there, too. Farmhouse. Look how square the buildings are that go up on this one. A lot of brick was used. Kind of sitting out here by itself. Another wall of names. All in me memory of who was here. Let's see what this says over here. New Jersey Light Artillery. Second battery, wow. Army of the Potomac. July 2nd and July 3rd, they were here. Okay, I think this one's a Pennsylvania one. I read about this one. If it's open, we can go up top in it. We'll try it. This one's huge. Absolutely huge. Wonder how many cannons they got here on display. Look, some veterans looking at names. 
Pennsylvania remembers. Shows you the size of the scale of the construction project it took to put this in. The detail and architecture of these memorials are just something else. Look how tall that is. Okay, let's go find that stairwell. See if it, we can get up it. Pennsylvania, Gettysburg, at Gettysburg. Wow. History was being written back then, wasn't it? That is just plain impressive. If you ever get a chance, come out here and check out these uh, memorials. Ooh, I see a gated door. Is this it? Can we go in? Stairways. Cool. <laughs> it's a quite a little climb coming up here. Directional arrows showing you what direction different areas are wow you can really see the battlefields up here look at them huh we're up here a little ways Pretty good view. Can't beat this. And the rain held off. Yay! Oh my goodness. Alright, well, let's head back down towards the van. Round room here. What's this? Uh, no vandalism. They must have used this for something here, maybe a ceremony or something. Those stairs. Pretty steep. Yeah, if you're a Civil War buff, history buff, goodness. In the uh, or the museum, they estimate two and a half to three million people visit this area every year, nonstop, even in the winter time. Summertime, it explodes. That the amount of people that visit these places, all these memorials and the auto tour and everything. It's in the millions. Well, we're getting, I think, near the end of the tour, we're gonna, I'll stop up here at the National Cemetery. We're gonna find that memorial where Lincoln gave the Gettysburg address. It's 
supposed to be a big memorial there for that. parking lot up here. I'll find a place to park. Go across the National Cemetery. Find that Lincoln uh, Gettysburg Memorial. What a neat ride. Thank goodness it didn't rain on me again. <laughs> Check it out if you're in Gettysburg. Drive this thing. It's free. Doesn't cost anything. Just your fuel and your time. National Cemetery. This thing's old. You cannot drive in here, you can only walk. And they have guided tours for this too. Once again, check it out at the visitor center if you're interested in all the tours. There's the layout. I want to find that memorial. Should be close. What's this say? Silent and respect. Well, we got that mower going in the background. They're mowing lawn here. I think this is it here. Yep. 300 yards from this spot, Lincoln gave the Gettysburg Address. Wow. So we're almost right there. Troops buried right here, too. History right here. This place is huge. What's this? Oh wow, a real picture. There's Lincoln with the circle around him. Boy, he had to shout to, for them to hear it. Back then there was no microphones or speakers, nothing. Cool. All of these are World War II. Most of the dates, dates these guys age at between 20 and 30 years old from World War II buried here.
Civil War veterans buried here, unknown. John Biggs, unknown. Frederick, Brian, unknown. Look at the size of this tree, my goodness. Big branches on it. That is huge. That was here <laughs> during the Civil War. Goodness. Pretty well marked. You can just walk around through here in this area. Some of it's closed off. But that is one big history lesson here. Glad I came here. Quite a history lesson. I've seen a lot of stuff I never knew about. I'm not the biggest Gettysburg Civil War buff, but you always learn from this stuff. All right, I'm gonna go see my friends down in Hanover. Journey continues. Talk soon.